Welcome to the next test. We have the Proline Flat Iron G8 versus the RC Four Wheel Drive Goodyear MTR X2S3 compound. The Proline Flat Iron is running an alloy wheel and it also has the blue Endura soft silicon insert. The RC Four Wheel Drive Goodyear MTR is running an Endura dual stage foam with a soft outer and the heavy rubber inner. These tyres are very well known and have a really good reputation, so it's going to be a good test, I think. I have come up with this tournament style graphic, which I should have done in the first two videos, but I didn't, better late than never. So we see there that we have the tusk and the crawler through to the next round, and as I said, we are now doing the flat iron and the Goodyear MTR, which is over on the right hand side. Now you'll notice where the Tusk and Fake Canyon Trail are, that is blank and I have slightly changed my mind on how I'm going to run this showdown. So what I've decided to do is to, I was going to, because I'm one tyre short, I was going to run the uh, the Rocco, the uh, Fast Tracks Rocco, which is the Deep Woods, the Duratrax Deep Woods, I was going to run it backwards which kind of seemed like a good idea at the time, but I've since decided that that's not a great idea and I've run them forward and back and they work a lot better running the right way. So what I've decided to do is to pick the two best losers out of the first round and they will play off in the first round for a chance through to the second round. So just to explain why those two, those two uh, parts there are blank on the, uh, on the graphic. That's enough, we'll get stuck into this test, the Proline Flat Iron versus the RC Four Wheel Drive Goodyear MTR. Here we are for the first obstacle, the Proline Flat Iron, which is known to be a really good tyre. And on the first obstacle, not having too much drama, but just trying to get the balance right at the, the crest at the top of that incline and it gets through relatively easily and I crash. And the RC four wheel drive Goodyear MTR. This is a very soft rubber, it's not the softest softest compound they have, it's the next one down which is meant to be I think they say super sticky, super soft and super something else. Uh, they're certainly very soft, they're not really tacky, they are somewhat grippy and they eventually do get to the top of this obstacle. Not on that occasion. Second attempt. Just having a little bit of trouble getting over that crest like the flat iron did. And it's up. We go the flat iron on the smooth concrete, a little bit of wheel spin, but other than that, straight up. And crash. And here we go again with the RC four wheel drive Goodyear. A little bit of wheel spin, definitely more wheel spin than the flat iron, for sure. A bit more accelerator, and it gets up. And on the next obstacle, flat iron. Look at this scrambling to get up. To punch it up over that little crest and it gets up easily. And the RC four wheel drive tyre, a bit scrabbly to get up there. It gets up there eventually. And 
And the next obstacle, which starts off with the steps and then the off camber rocks. And we have the Proline tyre. Having a little bit of difficulty getting up that last step. Probably not the best line I could have chosen. But makes it up. Now the RC full drive, Goodyear MTR. Struggling a little bit. Yeah, having a bit of trouble right on the start of this obstacle. Tackled it from the opposite side. Just doesn't want to seem to get up that last brick step. One last step. Yeah, just lacking that sort of top end traction to get that last part up. A little bit more accelerator trying to bounce it up it a bit. Yeah, it does not want to go. Ready, set. Having a similar issue on that last brick step. Going over to the other side now. And back over to the left. And in a rather precarious position there. And tumble. Right, next obstacle is our side hill. And once again, the flat iron goes first. And this section here from right to left has proved to be uh, fairly straightforward. Straight up. Let's reverse up here and get into position. Except I crash. <laughs> Again, here we go. Straight into it. From left to right. Got it first go. I've said it a few times already in these videos, but it's actually quite tough to get that line right. And the RC four-wheel drive. And we can tell right there on the hard turn right that the tire it slid. It didn't want to turn hard right, it's actually slid to the left a little bit. We still got it up okay, but it doesn't bode well for coming back the other way. And here we go. Just trying to get that line. Just going to ease it over. That no, tire slips. Hard to save it from there. And lined up again. Good, just give it a little bit of accelerator and it actually does go up onto that. So that was actually a, a pretty good effort. And that's the end of that test. I think it's fair to say that the Proline flat iron outperformed the RC four wheel drive Goodyear MTR. The, the MTR was kind of close-ish on a couple of those obstacles, but even the obstacles where it was close to flat iron still did the tests a little bit more easily than the Goodyear MTR, which means the Proline flat iron goes through to the next round and the RC four wheel drive Goodyear MTR is knocked out, but potentially still with a chance to go through the next round 
if it's one of the best of the losers in the first round. Now the Goodyear MTR has been eliminated but I did want to just say a little bit about the tyre because the previous two tyres that have been knocked out have been very very poor tyres. I would describe the RC full drive Goodyear MTR tyre as being performance wise okay. It's it's not fantastic, it's not terrible, it's just okay. But it does look awesome. So if you've got a scale rig that uh, you're really going for that sort of real scale, you know, the realism, uh, it's a very, very good tyre to run because it is, it looks, it's a, it's a, a direct copy of the, the actual Goodyear MTR, which is a very popular four-wheel drive tyre. So I just wanted to say that because it's not terrible, as I said, like the other two. So it does have its place, uh, just not in the next round of this monster tyre test. And over to the graphic, we can now see that the flat iron has advanced to the second round. And the Goodyear MTR tyre still has a chance to go through, as I said, if it is one of the uh, best two of the, the best losers in the first round so we haven't quite thrown that out just yet but the graphics coming along quite well now and as we uh, will really start to sort the uh, the really good tyres from the average tyres as we go on with more tests and thank you very much once again for watching and like subscribe all that sort of stuff appreciate your time